Hello everyone! As promised in the last video, I'm going to share with you how I got the look that I was wearing in the last video where I shared all the new um, Shea Moisture products that I received from them. My latest Shea Moisture box. So, um, I already did my foundation, I put on my blush, I did my contour, everything. If you guys would like to see how I apply my foundation and <clears throat> color correct and all that jazz, comment down below. I will figure out how to film that video for you guys. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video because I use about two to three foundations and concealers and color correctors. As most makeup artists do, we use a variety of things to get the look and match our skin tone and our undertones and make it look. For me, like each makeup artist has like their signature thing that when you see their makeup you're like oh my god that's AJ Crimson oh my god that's Nikki Posey oh my gosh that is Mari Devonovic or oh my gosh that's Akua Robinson or, or whoever is your favorite makeup artist you there's a signature that they have to their their look that they do on their clients and for me it really is skin I love skincare and I love treating the skin and then I also love to have the foundation match that client skin tone when I do my makeup I want to make it look like skin I want to have people asking is that your skin or do you have a makeup now if I, if I were to just go outside like this and I had on no blush people would not know that I have on makeup but because I have on blush it's kind of a little and I have on a I've put it on a little bit heavier so you can see a little bit more on camera that I have on blush you know that they would assume that I have on makeup but anyway, enough about that. Let's get right into this tutorial. And the first thing I'm going to use is this Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio. And it's in the shade Painted Purple. Now, this is like a paint pot from MAC. I don't know if Maybelline still makes this color. I bought this years ago. I have so many of these Maybelline paint pot things. I'm sure you could get one from MAC. NYX makes their own. Yeah, so I'm sure you could find something. I'm also going to be looking off to the side a little bit. If you notice in my videos a lot, I have different mirrors in my room. Like I have this one, I have one behind me. I also have another one that's um, three times on one side and ten times on the other side it's magnified. Because when you're doing your makeup, well for me I usually wear glasses for distance. I need different mirrors that do different things. I can make sure that everything is just evenly applied and it's just really smooth. So I'm just taking my um, index finger here and I'm just patting and pressing it on. Now I don't want to go all the way up in the crease. I never put my paint pots or pr eye primers up in the crease and the reason why is if you put your crease color I mean you put your primer in your crease it's very hard to lay that crease eyeshadow color in your crease and to have it stay there now if you have an oily eyelid then I would still recommend that you still don't you just do away with primer period um, if you want to do with something with like a color use like a um, more of a matte dried out um, primer base now one thing you can do is if you have something like this what I do sometimes when I get these from like Mac or wherever even um, Anastasia I believe makes these too leave it open overnight let some air get in there and it'll dry it out and it'll make this less emollient so it'll be easier to lay down so let me come a little bit closer to you guys so this is what it looks like I don't have I try not to put any in the crease a little bit of it transferred in there opens and closed my eye there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Shea Moisture palette and I'm also before using this I also have my Z palette here that I created and I also use this in the look from, that you saw on me in the last video. Now I depotted um, the Too Faced, the Chocolate Bar palette, the first one, because it cracked on me. And these are some Makeup Forever, Shea Moisture, and Makeup Geek, and MAC eyeshadows that I depotted. So I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush. It, I think this was a limited edition, but I'm sure they have other ones that are similar to this. And it's the Duo Fiber Eye Brush. I'm just using this because all my other um, crease brushes are dirty right now, so you can use whatever you have on hand. 
right, so I'm gonna look over to the side. I place my mirror by my window now. So I'm just laying down my crease color and I'm blending it in. So you wanna use like a windshield wiper motion and just blend it on out. And it should look like that. Now, um, ooh, I'm so sorry I keep kicking my tripod stand. Let me see if I move it back a little bit like that. It will be better. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back in a little bit. And the color that I'm using is, let me see, I might be blinding you guys, but this color right here, um, it's just a transition color. Um, if you have any makeup palette, you can, um, use a light kind of cafe au lait kind of color um wet and wild their palettes tend to have uh, um chocolatey brown transition color in their palettes all right so now i did that now i'm gonna go in to the shea moisture palette and i'm gonna select the purple which i believe is called um Lane Lana, Leanna. It's also number five. So I'm going to use this purple and I'm going to lay it down with a flat eyeshadow brush. I think this is a real technique. Uh, not a real technique. This is, this is a crown brush. You could use whatever brush you have. I'm going to need to use my other mirror. Now this is coming out a little bit smokier than the other eye look from the last video because I just remember that I also used um, the Vice palette. Not Vice palette, um, what is it called? I used this Urban Decay. It was a 500 point perk. It's called Urban Vices. And I used this color here, which is called Hoodoo. And I had used it right here on the inner part. So we'll do that as well. But I really kind of like this purple. It's like a deeper purple look. Maybe I'm gonna stick with this. Let's forget about the Urban Decay for now. I might come back to it in a minute. So all I did was first I used the Maybelline purple um, painted purple um, paint pot um, on my lid. Then I went in with the Too Faced color and this color right here. I don't know what the name of it is. It's on the chocolate bar palette, but if you find any light brown color, I know Shea Moisture has from their palettes, like a neutral palette, you can use like a nice transition color of brown. But just look at this eye already. It just looks like a really nice smoky eye that you can probably even get away with wearing during the day. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of that purple on and just lay it down a little bit more. And now I did get some fallout here, but I kind of like that look that it's going for there. So I can leave the eye like this, but if I want to smoke it out more, I'm going to go in with a deeper, darker brown on the outer um, side here, but I'm not going to cover everything that I have up from this brown. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a detailed brush. So this is by Smashbox, and it's called a Shadow Liner Brush. It's one of my favorite brushes to use as a crease brush or if you wanna lay down eye, um, eyeshadow as an eyeliner and just kinda of smudge it out, it's perfect for that. I bought this years ago at the makeup show, um, pop-up holiday show. If you can get your hands on this brush, it's a must brush and it's so soft too. So okay, I'm gonna go back into the Too Faced palette and I'm gonna go in with this darker brown shade here. Actually, I'm not gonna go with that color. I'm gonna go with this one right here. It's a little bit more matte than the other one. The other one's a little too shimmery. And then I'm gonna tap off any excess. And see how I'm just patting it in on the eyelid and just buffing it on out.
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the first color that I had mentioned before. And that's it so that's all that there is to that this look and it's very smoky I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black I'm running out of time so I'm gonna just do this really fast so I went in with the onyx color from the Shea Moisture palette I'm just gonna put a little bit right out here You see that? And then I'm gonna go in with that first brush I used and just kind of softly blend that out. Sometimes you might get a little bit of fallout underneath the eye. Q-tips are your friend. And these Alme Q-tips are really great because all you have to do, you break the capsule at the top and then it has makeup remover already in here. So you just use that, let it go down to the tip, and then you can clean it up, clean up any of the errors you may have made. And it's perfect if you're gonna do a wing eyeliner because you could lay it down here and do your wing eyeliner. So that's a tip for you guys. So yes, so that's this look. Now I'm gonna just apply my mascara from Shea Moisture. And also, if you feel like there's too much fallout under here, you could just roll the Q-tip so that it could pick up any of that um, fallout that you don't, you're not satisfied with. So one of the things I love about this mascara is that it's a scooped wand, so it really can lift your lashes and give you a little bit of volume. And it's a very moussey kind of formula. So you see what difference this is making already? So that's what it looks like and if you want to make this look even more smoky and a little bit kind of more evening appropriate well I mean this could go from day to night so it's appropriate either way um, you can use a little bit of waterproof mascara I love max factor I also love Lancome mascaras are really great if you're looking for um, waterproof mascara and if you're also looking for another drugstore mascara um, CoverGirl, the orange one, the one in the orange tube it's, that's waterproof is really good, just a little bit hard to take off. If you use a little bit of Neutrogena waterproof uh, makeup remover, it'll come right off though. So this is what the look looks like. Get into it, get into it. And another thing that you can do is that you can take this highlight color, which is called Rock Crystal, and you can, I'm going to just tap it onto my thumb here and you could put it right there to just open up the eye especially when you do a smoky eye look you want to put a little bit of highlight in the inner tear duct area so it could just open up the eye because I might feel a little bit more closed off um, because of that darker color you put all over the lid so that is the look I'm gonna put on a little bit of lipstick take a picture and you guys will see the whole look come together thank you so much for watching please be sure to like this video and share with everybody you know bye guys